Hello guys, Chris Gaming Studios here, and welcome to another video. And as you can see, this is one of our normal videos. This is a how I make my channel art. Uh, well, mostly my thumbnails. And I use this website called I use this website called Panzoid.com. The link will be in the description if you want to get on here. It's a wonderful place um, to make all sorts of stuff, mainly for YouTube. But I made my banner is it different. I used Pick Monkey for that. Pick Monkey, it's not as good as Panzoid though. You can't like the text options is really good. It's almost like Photoshop except like the the text makes it look like Photoshop. Um sorry. Okay. And but there will be some ads in here. It's because my computer's pretty buggy and all that. So let's get to it. What you do is this is its home page and it does a um uh, it will post a daily video thumbnail of the day. Um, hopefully I don't get copyright for this for whoever made this video. And let's get on with it. Um, you got you click the background or three. That's just a clip maker. I don't I've never used it. But I already have my own um I already have my own thing, so this is wait, let me get let me clear all these adds out okay um this is what you get into whenever you first get into it now what you can do on here is like these are um on custom templates templates you have um that but you can make your own let's just for the video let's just make something random and right here if you go to basics the YouTube one is how you um it's it's YouTube one is your banner this is the outlines for your banner you want to stay inside the safe spot and the safe spot is the green this, it, this is so that people can see it so this is um yeah this is the banner this is a channel avatar I don't know what that is this is the thumbnail See, it will format it differently if I use the thumbnail. I will make a. Uh, I'm just gonna make a um. A. I'm just. I'm gonna make a thumbnail, one of my own thumbnails, just for you guys. And I'll be back when I have a picture uploaded. You, you just click this. But there's some personal photos that I, that I don't of my family that I don't want you to see. Okay, guys, I got a um, picture uploaded, and as you can see, this is pretty messy. Um, it's it's this. It's the image tile, and it's in tile right now. You click fill, and it puts it to one picture. And what I do is uh, you can change the opacity. See, I'll keep that to one, and you go to layer two. And what, yeah, this is what I do. I get a layer two, and you can either upload another image. Uh, what I do, you can also have your own texture. Um, they have te all round textures that they have. But what I use for the texture is this. And I usually change it to point, I'm going to point one layer. And uh, then I go to text images and Yes. Yeah, what will happens is um, you go to text and plus images, and you click the these. This is if you want to upload an image. This is if you want to upload a text. I click that. So yeah, it says Sprite One. You click on it to um to edit it. And as you can see, it gives us an array of different stuff. And as you can see, there's a bunch of different um fonts on here. What I usually use for my from the font um of for like I'm using all a whole different fonts but what I use is elementary gothic to make this and I'll this is when I make my um a channel name Chris Gaming Studios. 
Oh, and you have to click here. It, enter doesn't work. Yeah, and this is the colors of it. And at first, I, I was pretty confused because I thought that this only made the colors. You know, there's a little tiny circle you click anywhere around here. So, yeah, I say I click there, I click there, or I click anywhere on this color. You can change it to very dark, to very bright. Yes. And what's also another th cool thing about this, you can alternate colors. Like, see, um, you I'll just pick a blue and see. It just does that. Ain't that cool, though? Um, and here's the position it's in. You can change the font size. Like, say I change it to... 100. See, it changes. I usually change that to 70. And I realize I won't do the full. Um, do full. What you can do for, for, like, I'm not going to make my own thing. Um, I'm going to, you, I'm just going to show you the basics so, you, so that you guys don't steal my ideas and that stuff. And what also what and one thing that makes it more like Photoshop is you can actually add borders, and a border is like see it makes it that it stand out. You can choose a different color for the border to be. Um, see, I'll choose like green, and see, you can change it to that. But I like it just to be black. Um, it makes it more stand out. And you can change the thickness of it, which you can see it gets dark darker. Of course, you don't want it that dark. Um, I usually change mine to about there, maybe four. I, yeah, I use three. And I don't know what gradient angle is. Um, oh, yeah, and the rotation. I've never used that actually before. Let's see what it does. Ten. Oh, okay. So yeah, Chris gave yeah. This will be the thumbnail for um. No, it won't. Never mind. It won't. Okay, yeah. So you can you can change it. Like let's make it all the way around. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, you can. Okay, see, it's completely upside down. And this is a text shadow. It makes it look more cool. And uh, let me, I'm going to make you be able to see. Yeah, it's, and uh, as you can see, there's, it's glowing. And you can also change the color of, of it. Like, if it was on a darker picture or background, you want to choose white. But I usually choose black for my Power 101. Um... Thumbnails. Yeah, use black. Wait. Okay, wait. I'm getting mixed up. There we go. And you can the X equals um left to right. So if I do one, it changes direction. See. Yep, so you can do that. Whoops. Oh, I didn't know you could go like that. Um, or you can go Y, which makes it go up. I think it does. Oh, yeah, it does. See? It, you just basically duplicated it down here. Okay, and also you can do blur, which is, yeah, you can see it just makes it less stand out. That just makes it look like it's the same thing, but 10 usually is good. And so, yeah, wait, let's see, look. It's green now. It kind of looks like spray paint. Hmm. Yeah, so, and you can also upload pictures, like I said, but on a picture. I'll be back when I have another picture uploaded from to to this. Okay, guys, back, and I got a picture uploaded. It's a musketeer symbol for Power 101, um, and as you can see, the one on the thumbnails actually are bigger. And the way you can do that is you can stretch it out using this. 
Oh, uh, it's a scale X equals left and right, so say I did that. Oh, well apparently it's different on here on the scale for this. So X so that equals that and Y I guess equals left to right. Yep. And you can actually you can like cut off so you wanted to cut off some of it. You can just like hide it over here. Um Yes, and make sure if you're doing a picture and one letters above like that go the show make sure like oh wait look at this see look it goes um over the it goes over the the text so what you can do is you drag you click it you drag it and drop it and it changes that so yeah that's it guys that'll be all for today thank you guys and Oh yeah, wait, I, never mind, um, I forgot to show you some stuff. And what you do is, if you, when you're finished with it, do not go to templates and do not click, um, sa save custom template. You click, you go down here and click download your background. And, yeah, it's rendering the background. Download. And... Yep, and it takes you to another page. It takes a little bit for it to um, start getting the download ready. And I'm using Chrome, so obviously the download will be using And there it is. It's ready. But what you want to do is, like, I got confused with this. You want to click the arrow and click Show in Folder. Um, sorry for all this. And you drag, you click, you drag, and drop in the pictures. That's what I do. And you can also rename it. That's what I do also. You, I just close it. And that'll be all for today, guys. Remember to leave a comment and a like. Bye.